Shirley Chisholm. Uh, mm. She is an amazing woman. And if you don't know about her, this is part of my what I want to do on a regular basis where I talk about people that you probably didn't learn about in school that you should have. Mm. And she's one of those amazing folks. Shirley Chisholm. Uh, she was born in 69 and died in 83. Uh, just Not 69. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That's when she was... Uh, oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Where is her birth? Ah! Is it not on here? Remember? Oh, damn it. Okay. Never mind. A bad brain We day. don't know when really, she was really, born. Really, really, really bad. She doesn't remember either. Yeah. Jesus. Does she remember <laughs> when right? she was born? Yeah. yeah. Okay. No, I have it here. 1924 okay. yeah. to 2005. It's under the next, right. next page. So sorry. Oh, Lordy. Okay. In <laughs> 1968, she became the first black woman elected to the United States Congress, and she represented New York's 12th congressional district for seven terms from 1969 to 1983. In 1972, she became the first black candidate for a major party's nomination for president of the United States and the first woman to run for the Democratic Party's presidential nomination. Who boy. And in 2015, Chisholm was posthumously awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Um, as an atheist, I'm thinking, God damn it. She never got to know about it. Okay, so her early life, she was born to immigrant parents from the Caribbean region, mm -hmm. and she taught in a nursery school while furthering her education, earning her master's degree in elementary education in 1952. Don't let anybody tell you that an education degree, degree doesn't mean anything. Um, this woman rocked what she knew about early uh, education and early development of children. It was during her career as an educator that she became known as an authority on issues involving early education and child welfare. She did some amazing things. One of her early activities in the New York State Assembly was to argue against the state's literacy test requiring English. We have talked about this before, mm -hmm. how you can't legally bar someone based on their skin color, but you can do things that based on their demographics, they're more right. like... Yeah, more likely to not qualify. And um, that's one of the things that she fought against. So um, she played a critical role in the creation of the Special Supplemental Nutrition Program for Women, Infants, and Children, the WIC WIC mm -hmm. program. And all those that she hired in her office were women, mm -hmm. and half of them were black. Chisholm said that she had faced much more discrimination during her New York legislative career because she was a woman than because of her race. Wow. Um, she also worked on a bill to give domestic workers the right to a minimum wage. And here's the thing that's really fantastic and says something, says a lot about who she was. She, did, she accomplished both those things by working with white Republican men. Mm -hmm. She could work the system. She she was amazing. Um, let's see. She was a vocal opponent of the draft and supported spending increases for education, of course, health care, and other social services. She was the first black majority party candidate to run for president. I already said that one. Not losing my mind entirely. Um, here's something that's really sad and interesting. Her campaign was underfunded, only spending $300,000 in total my God. Yeah. <laughs> this is crazy. She also struggled to be regarded as a serious candidate instead of as a symbolo symbolic political figure. She was ignored by much of the Democratic political establishment and received little support from her black male colleagues. She later said, when I ran for Congress, uh, when I ran for president, I met, for discrim met more discrimination as a woman than for being black. Men are men. She said that, not me. In particular, she expressed frustration about the, quote, black matriarchy thing, unquote, saying, they think I am trying to take power from them. The black man must step forward, but that doesn't mean the black woman must step back. So she dealt with a lot of crap and was successful despite that. After leaving Congress, Chisholm resumed her career in education and she was named to the Purington Chair at the All Women Mount Holyoke College in Massachusetts. And this is a position previously held by W.H. Auden, Burton Russell, who is an, one of our heroes, and Arna Bonton. Let's see. 
Oh, yes. And this is really awesome. She's got a stamp. I, I, I collect stamps, so I have her stamp. But uh, Shirley Chisholm will receive a monument in Prospect Park scheduled for 2020. Cool. Right on. Things are – and Chisholm is the first woman – to be so honored by She Built New York City. How about that? Cool. So there's someone you need to pay attention to. Can I just say, let's think about for a minute how awesome it would have been if we had had a black woman teacher as president back in the 70s. Holy cats. I mean, can you imagine what we would have... Yeah, I I really can't either. I mean, and... And there are recordings of her, some of her campaign speeches out there now. Oh, yeah. And if you get a chance, you should look these up because if she were running for president right now, she would be a serious contender for the Democratic nomination. Some of the stuff she talked about back then, people are just getting back around to now. So. Yeah. It says here, it shows, I have a ton more stuff. I just had to uh, crop it down to the very highest of highlights. Chisholm's speech for the Equal Rights Amendment given in 1970 is listed as one of the top 100 speeches of the 20th century. Mm-hmm. So, yes, she was an amazing speaker. Yes. Quite a force. And um, on the picture that was up there, it, her, her motto was amazing. And I'm trying to remember what it was because that brain cell did die, apparently. Um, not bought and um yeah unbought and unbossed there you go ah, yeah. nice she's she was bad ass <laughs> yes and yet very politic clearly because yes. she could work with folks across the aisle and get stuff done for the people who needed it yep children and underprivileged folks she's just amazing woman 